fuck. You know how many times I took to make an intro for this video? At least one. That is more, that is ten more than I usually do to make a proper intro for this video. So, I, I, I love raging about my intro fails. That's, that's how I make another intro to take a, whatever, it's just so cryptic. Who the fuck knows? I was about to say this is finally gameplay without the AN, but he picked it up. So, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the gameplay yet. I'm just gonna view it as it is. And what it is, is the world's highest gun streak as of the time I'm uploading this video. So if you're in the future, and you happen to see this video, right? And there's some other video higher. I don't need your fucking comments of, Oh well, somebody got a higher gun streak, it's not the highest in the world. I, I don't need to hear that. I don't give a shit if somebody got a higher one. I mean, that is impressive to a degree. But last time I did a slums biblical gameplay, truly biblical, I put on some, uh boy band by accident and it was back when luigi got his first triple nuke so that is the monumental status for this gameplay it it's like the first triple nuke we ever got i mean every one after that was so unepic but the first one was amazing and this is like the third or fourth kill gun streak that's over 100 it's 106 gun streak on slums which honestly i haven't been uploading that much slums either i'm sure if you're coming over from another channel and don't know who i am I can imagine that they upload a lot of slums if they're gameplay. If they're if they're not gameplay, then I I don't even know. I don't even need f fuck kid fuck. Anyways, I wasn't gonna do this. I wasn't gonna be gonna. Do, damn it, Christ! I don't have the voice to commentate right now. I wasn't gonna do this because it's so damn hot out, and I have a like a heat. I'm I'm having a heat stroke. So I, I if if that's the right term, I'm having a headache, and it's just so painful to talk and to play and and even view this. So, just think, I'm going through blood and tears, but before this, let's have a moment of silence for the most sad thing to ever happen on this date. I don't have any more milk. Fuck. Oh my god, I literally ran out of milk. This hasn't happened in over a week, and it's very depressing. Oh, you know, it is 9-11 too, so I, that, that is bizarre, but whatever. Whatever! Whatever! What is the commentary topic for this video? I don't know. I wouldn't even pick one because nothing has really happened. I mean, they did release a single-player trailer for uh, Ghost. That was the most fail. That was the most visual fail of the week. It, it was un 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 unpleasing. Un un unpleasing. I think that's it. Unpleasing to watch. And anyways, what is this? What am I talking about? They did show vi footage of the Odin strike, which I don't know if that. What's that thing called? O D I N O zero D. I don't know the strike that we saw in a in the strike orders from Ghost Reveal. I, is that the same thing? Because if it is, that is so GI Joe inspired. Even though I'm pretty sure the idea of what the gun is is you know it, it was before a movie. But in the movie GI Joe Retaliation or something like that, the second one, the last one, they employed a weapon exactly like this, which is it's practically a sal satellite. I didn't look it up, I'm just visually describing it, that fires a very heavy metal, I don't know, something very heavy at a high velocity into the atmosphere at the target. Now what this does is, think of an asteroid, why is an asteroid so powerful if it's just a rock falling to the ground and other rocks hitting the ground, let's say a cliff falls over and it doesn't do the same damage, well, it's the initial force when it hits the ground, it's, I, I don't know how fast they fire it. But, you know, your average asteroid's going 20 kilometers per second, which is fast as fuck. I mean, you see that going above you, it's gone. Pretty quick. I mean, that makes uh, jets look that, like they're going... That's like 18,000 miles per hour. Because that's the speed that the rockets take to go out of Earth's orbit. Whatever. And this thing hits the ground with so much force. It, it, it's a non-nuclear nuke, per se. And it's also more powerful. Although, what it does could actually be more survivable than the blast radius of a nuke, because, I mean, a nuke could just vaporizes everything, unless you're underground in a bunker, which this thing practically destroys the thought of underground bunkers, because it practically causes a super powerful shockwave slash earthquake at the location it lands on, so it just, everything's devastated, even underground bunkers, I'm pretty sure, wouldn't, at least, you know, the Walmart versions wouldn't survive pretty well. I don't know how, you know, a presidential bunker would fare, but it's a really cool weapon design, and supposedly we're initializing it. I mean, this would level targets without a problem. I'm sure 
you know, Siri or someone, they would retaliate. If they can even get their little uh, float rockets off the ground with their nukes, they'd probably retaliate with nukes. Because this, I, I don't know if the blast radius is more potent than a nuke, but the idea that it's not radioactive, just, I mean, it, it lightens warlords' minds up. It's like, oh my god, like, oh my god. You, you know what I'm saying? It's very potent. I don't know that, you know, uh, it did crush London in the movie, and you could tell the whole way through, it's just boom, 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 boom. It just tore everything up. That was a cool scene. <laughs> no hard feelings to those offended by that scene. But it was still interesting, and that is the Odin Strike. I don't know if that's a 25-gun streak or, you know, Moab type thing. Or it is simply uh, the strike pack, not the strike package, the field orders care package thing. If it is the field orders care package thing, fuck. If it isn't, that's awesome. But, you know, if it is, repeat step one. Uh, what else can I talk about? I mean, they didn't show much in that trailer, but visual impairment of everything I didn't care for. Anyways, uh, nine, eight, seven days, GTA 5 comes out. That is fucking banging. I need to get my laptop fixed. The problem is called BIOS. I turned it off during uh, an update because the update wouldn't fucking update. I left it on overnight and it was in the same damn spot it was. Now, that shouldn't happen. But I turned it off, not thinking, or thinking, that's the question. And uh, the fuck, it just, I turned it back on and it doesn't work. It gives me a little black screen with the underscore, a blinking underscore at the top left. That It's pretty pitiful. I don't like it. Oh, another note. This is a gameplay without C4. Like, oh my god. OMG. So this is a legit 106 gun streak. I would say it was... It, it was <laughs> fuck. God, I can't talk. I would say it was with the uh, MSMC, but turns out, no matter what, even if it's not in your class, the again will find a way to go in your hands. But it's still the thought that that cunt's using C4 right there, so that's dangerous. I don't know what his class setup is. And he never dies, at least to my knowledge, so you really can't <laughs> figure it out unless it said it in the beginning. I don't know. But in the end, I do include a picture of the 106-gun streak. It's 76, 76, yeah, 76 unstoppables after the nuclear. So if, if you're, you know, 12, I don't, I don't expect you to do, be able to do that math. But the nuke, it's 30-gun streak, so 76 plus 30, obviously 106, un unless, I don't know, unless you're special. Unless you're a yellow swagger. I don't know. And what what else was there in the ghost reveal? I don't think there was much. GTA 5 is coming out. That's going to be the most fucking biblical game of the decade. I mean, GTA 4 was the biblical game of the decade. Actually, Halo 3 was. Halo 3 came out at the same time. GTA 5, 4 did. And uh, I think they shared the throne. Because 2007 was a golden fucking year for video games. I mean, Halo 4, COD 4... With which is most people's favorite COD, at least people who have played CODs back in the day like that, or at least have gone back to it. I don't know. It's most people's favorite COD. GTA 4 and uh, maybe the first Assassin's Creed? I don't know. I, I'm probably like three years off with that, but I'm pretty sure there was a few things that came out in 2007. I don't know how many there were. I Am I recording? Yeah, I am. Okay. Sometimes I forget if I'm recording. I'm like, fuck. And that's really it. I think I have a minute left. What else can I discuss? There's nothing really more to discuss. I mean, other games to look forward to are Titanfall. That's that's pretty interesting, but that's a Microsoft exclusive, so it's going to be PC and Xbox only. That's really epic looking. Battlefield 4. Uh, I'm looking forward to it on next-gen consoles, not on these. It's... It, it, whatever. I'm not even going to discuss Battlefield, nor am I going to discuss the other games. Furthermore, from this point, uh, if you enjoyed the video, let's hit 150 fucking likes. For the most biblical gun streak on earth by Get Matrix. I forgot to say it in the beginning. Or maybe I did, I just don't remember. Don't, don't you like that? I don't remember. Whatever. It's by Get Matrix, 150 likes for this biblical gun streak. And maybe I'll upload another video uh, later tomorrow or today. There's a terrible heat stroke, I'm dying. And there you go. Oh, he did die, but he never respawned. There's a picture. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye. No, 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 no.